today I'm going to be decluttering my hair care and styling drawers. Um, I want to make them both into one. So because I want to actually put um, my um, backups drawers, which if you saw that video, um, I just decluttered um, my backup drawer that's in another um, drawer system and I want to go ahead and put it in my Alex drawers um, because I want to try to get everything into my Alex drawers and kind of keep all my stuff out of those. Just because these are more sturdy um, and more, um, they're probably going to handle the move a lot better. So anyway, I want to go ahead and just get rid of, uh, at least consolidate these two drawers. So we're going with these two. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this one. This is all my hair care stuff. I do have a, um, so this is a, this is a British hair dryer. Um, it's just a Tresemme um, keratin smooth. It's just something, you know, basic that you can get. Um, I, I think I sold, I can't remember if I sold my other one. My American one, but anyways, I have this one that I bought in Fat Fit Fun. It's the T3 hair dryer, so I have it in a box, and it's the American spec. But I'm keeping that one to have when I go back to the states. So um, this one is just what I use currently right now. It's usually down on the floor, but I decided to put it in my drawer. Um, but obviously, it's my hair dryer, so I'm keeping that. This is the brush that I use 24/7. It's really gross. I apologize, but it's the wet brush uh, by Conair. My mother-in-law got this for me, and I find this actually I kind of like this better than the original wet brush. Um, it's just a little bit thicker, like uh, the strands right in here, are, like a slightly more like tough than the wet brush. So yeah, thanks, Mama Renee, for finding that for me. Um, and it was I think it was like part of like my Christmas, like in a stocking or something like that. And I actually really love this brush. It's it's awesome, and it's a pretty mint color. So um, I'm for sure keeping that. This round brush, which is completely gross. I do use this every now and again. Um, it's by the brand Goody. I think I might need like a smaller one. But um, when I had a little bit shorter hair, I curled my hair with this kind of like just rolled it with a hair dryer. Um, and I actually really liked it. I Because the only other hair brush, hair brush that I have is this one. Um, which is by, I think it's like the Revlon one that came with like another hair brush like dryer a long time ago. I hate this brush. So um, I don't know why it's in my drawer. I'm going to get rid of it. This one though, I do actually like this. It's got kind of these kind of thicker fibers in here that are, it just makes my hair look really smooth and pretty and voluminous. I'll be keeping her. This one's just brand new in my collection. I got this in my BoxyCharm. Um, I forget the brand of this, but it's a really nice kind of thick paddle brush. I have two paddle brushes. This one is by the brand Kala. Or Kayla, this is a wooden bamboo brush, which I do like. And then there's just um, this kind of like plasticky one. I'm not sure how I feel about paddle brushes. I rarely ever use these because I just feel they're too tough on my hair and I almost kind of hurt. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these because I just don't, I don't use paddle brushes. If I'm always using my wet brush for any and everything, I don't think I really need these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. Uh, this is my hair straightener, and this is by uh, Foxy Bay, um, which it's a really, it's a great straightener. It goes up to like 400. This is American spec, but it is dual voltage, so I can use it with just an adapter when I travel, um, like around in other parts of Europe. So I for sure love her. She's been with me now for almost three years, and I love her. My favorite, favorite straightener that I've ever had. I have two of these. These are the um, tweez or tangled tweezers, um, which is just like a kind of travel size hairbrush. You just kind of pull it open and like you're able to um, comb out like your hair when it's wet and everything like that. I do love these for travel. This is my original one. I don't know why I have two. They both are great. I think I'll pass it on to my friend. I'm going to keep this rose gold one because it's pretty. Uh, these are just attachments that I have for the hair dryer currently. I don't ever use these, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just keep keep them just to have with the hair dryer for when I sell it, because I I don't ever use them, but I want to keep them with it to make it more appealing to sell. There's that. This is a travel hair dryer, I believe, which I haven't used yet, because I got it relatively not that long ago, but it's by the brand PYT. Um, I'm afraid to use it because it's, I think it says it's dual voltage, but I'm afraid to test it out because it's just a little. Um, it says, yeah, it says dual voltage, um, but it's just this really cute kind of corally um, pink hair dryer. It's adorable. And um, yeah, I think I will go ahead and keep this. It'd be really great to have it. It's, I've actually used it a couple times traveling. It's come in handy because some places like Airbnbs, you may go in Europe, might not have hair dryers and stuff. So it's been, it's been convenient. I've been a little sketchy to use it. 
um, just because it's so tiny. I don't want the motor to burn out, but it's it's worked out pretty well. So I'm going to keep her. This is my curling iron. This is just a Revlon one, a uh, rose gold. Um, I usually can curl with my straightener. Um, but I do have a traditional curling iron, just sometimes I want just different kind of curls. So I do have a curling iron. She's really pretty. Um, I'll be keeping her. I don't know why I don't need to unwrap these. I need to like keep them all wrapped up. So now it's like a pain in the butt. Okay. All right. I have two curling wands here. One is by Numi, I think. Is this the Numi one? Yep. This is the Numi one and it is... I forget the width. I think this, I mean, it's a huge barrel. I want to say it's like an inch and a half barrel. I think it's huge. I do love this for like big beachy waves. It's, it's great. Um, I do really like her. And then the other one that I have is by the brand Lene. Is it Lange? Lange here? Um, and it's a definitely a smaller kind of barrel. It's rose gold. Um, I do like this one as well. So I do like both of these barrels. I can get different, obviously different kind of like hairstyles with them. But I do also enjoy both of them. So, and that's kind of excessive to have a curling um, wand and then, or two curling wands, a curling iron, and a straightener. But, um, yeah, so I'm just, mm, yeah, I'll keep them. I really want to try to use my curling iron some more. Um, I haven't really used her in a hot minute. I just used the straightener, basically, or the curling wands. But I want to give the curling iron a little more, a little more love. I have two gloves right here. Um, they're actually quite nice. Just the uh, kind of heat gloves. I like this one from um, Lounge, Lounge Land, whatever. Um, because it just fits and you can tighten it up. It feels kind of like a motorcycle glove. <laughs> but it's actually kind of nice. So um, I don't ever use these gloves though. But I do have them with it just in case. If anybody else wants to use them and they're like, kind of scared about them. I do let them borrow the gloves sometimes. So there's that. Okay, and then this is just a little comb. That I have, and then I do have a rat tail comb, which I use to separate my hair out a lot. Sorry, this is really dirty down here, and it's super gross. But I just have two little combs, and the event that I need them, I usually just use this one. So actually, I'm going to give this one to my husband. So I just use this one. I have a couple clips from Foxy Bay that's just to hold my hair back when I'm styling. I do really like these clips. They work really, really well. Um, so yeah, keeping those. And then these I got from a salon. You know how sometimes they put them in your hair? These are from my wedding day, actually. If I remember correctly. Um, yep. And I just, they like were in there to hold my curls. So I'm just going to keep those just for when I do want to hold my curls. I'm going to clean this out. So I'll be back in like two seconds. So she's all cleaned out. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just set these things back in here. Uh, I'm going to do my travel right there. My longer tools. There, the straightener. Okay, then the hair dryer. Put her right there. there that hairbrush, yep, yeah, perfect. Sweet. And then, actually, I actually might put this in my travel stuff just because, well, no, no, because sometimes I do use it for like combing out um, when I have deep conditioning treatments then. So I'm gonna have that comb right there. And put these clips off to the side. I'm gonna put these with my bobby pins. I'll keep these gloves somewhere else too. Okay, um, so that's that. Now, oh, well, that's fine. We'll move her around in a second. Now I'm gonna go down here to my hair styling drawer and kind of um, pare this down to fit it all in my other drawer. So. Oh, I need to stretch out because, ouch, and why? Well, oh, my sock got caught. Dang it. Okay. Okay, so here, let me think. So I've got my Batiste dry shampoos. They're about halfway gone. I do love Batiste. It's my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and keep both of these. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of room for styling products. So I really need to pare down them. Um, I can go ahead and get rid of my Bio Silk Silk Therapy Light. I used to really love this stuff. I got it a while back ago thinking that, hey, I used to really love it. I might like it again um, for, like, moisture for my hair, but it's actually kind of silicone-y. And I'm not into that look anymore. I was very kind of 90s, early 2000s, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. This is my absolute favorite leave conditioner. This is by the brand Way. Um, I actually bought their, the fragrance that's in this. They made it into a perfume, and I recently bought that in my Sephora haul. Um, 
Oh, it smells so good. It's, I forget the scent. It's like jasmine and um, pistachio, I think. It smells amazing. This isn't going anywhere. I love this stuff. Um, the Aveda Damage Remedy. I do really like this. I actually like the leave-in uh, conditioner that you use like when you're in the shower, but this one's actually really good um, after styling product. This is amazing. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite volumizing spray. This is by Sahag. Um, you can only get this, I believe, like from a salon, uh, which I get from my hairstylist back home. Her name is Laurel, Laurel James, and I think she's getting married here pretty soon. Happy for her, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this uh, just because I absolutely freaking love it. It's my favorite, and I had a, I had one originally, but there's just actually water in uh in this one um that i use for like what i'm doing um like braiding my hair and that kind of stuff so but uh the actual airlift is like one of my favorites why is it not fitting oh i guess the bottle's changed huh oh wow i didn't realize that yeah so apparently the the bottle's changed but so now i know so this one's the actual airlift and this is just a bottle of water um that i just use to spray stuff my hair sometimes but keeping the zahag airlift spray for sure uh, I have two, that's gross, I have two, is this just two, right, I think, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, okay, so I have two hairsprays, the Dove Style and Care Flexible Hold Hairspray, um, so this is in number four, it's strong hold, but it's flexible, so I do really like this on my hair, it does smell nice, it's a little bit better for your hair as far as, um, like hairsprays goes, I do use the Elnet Satin and Extra Strength sometimes, and I have curls that I want them to hold. This is one of the only ones that'll like lock them in there. It makes them maybe slightly kind of a little bit harder, but when I really need that to hold, this is my go-to. But this is kind of an everyday um, spritz over if I have a little curl and I want it to just like naturally kind of um, fall down throughout the day. This one's really pretty, so I do love the Dove. It is gorgeous. Okay, um, I'm almost out of this. There's barely, hardly anything in here, but this is the Orlando, Orlando Pita Play. This is the uh, Atmo Shield Hair Protectant Spray. I love this stuff as a heat protectant. I'm almost out. I really want to get another bottle of it. Um, I think I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago, but I've just fallen in love with it. So I'm actually almost out, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it because I will be using it next time I shower my hair, which will probably be today. <laughs> Um, this is, these two things from Living Proof. I've got the Full Thickening Cream and Boost Body. And then I've got the Instant Defrizzer, um, Softness and Shine. Um, it's the Dry Conditioning Spray. I don't really use dry conditioning sprays. I do use it on my ends sometimes in the summertime. I do find it is really nice, um, for split ends or just drier ends. I do quite like that. And then the Full Thickening Cream, I actually haven't tried this yet. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I, I can go ahead and try this next time because it just, it's meant to be thick. My hair is already kind of thick and full of, um, like just lot, lots and lots of hair, but it's supposed to give volume. So I do want to try this. So I'm going to keep these. Okay. This is the whatever, whatever, sorry, the whatever, yeah, whatever, wherever, Supercharged Naturals Leave-In Conditioner. I actually do like this. I got this, uh, I forget, I think it was just a sample from Sephora. Um, yeah. I actually really do like this, so I'm going to keep using this and see see if I actually want to buy the full size of it, but I really, I'm getting along with it quite well. Um, this one for Batiste is the instant conditioner. I definitely prefer, if I'm going to use an instant conditioner or like um, a leaving, or a, whatchamacallit, the dry conditioning, I definitely like the Living Proof way better for my dry ends. Batiste is just like too heavy and almost like oily. I don't get along with this, so I'm definitely declaring that. This is the Herbal Essences Naked Volumizing Souffle. I do like this, but um, actually the last time anybody used this was when my mom came to visit. Uh, both my mom and my mother-in-law, and they were like, do you have any mousse? This is the only mousse that I have, and it's actually, it works really well. If I ever want to use a mousse in my hair, I do use this one. Although I, I do use the Sahag Airlift Volumizing Spray most of the time. But I do bounce between both of these, and I've kind of got maybe... Maybe a little more than half a can left. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up because it is nice. I de definitely don't hate on it by any means. Okay, the Tresemme Keratin Boost Protecting Heat Shine Spray. Um, I don't ever use this. It's almost gone, but I just I'm not going to use it anymore. So it's gone. This is by the brand Chi. It's the Iron Guard. I used to love this when I was a kid when I used to straighten my hair and stuff, but uh, no more. It just I've I've my hair. I'm grown up and. I have different likes for my hair, so I'm gonna get rid of her. 
This is by the brand IGK. This is the Mister or yeah, Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. This is it's interesting. I I don't have like any. I don't I don't like it. I don't hate it. It's just it's just kind of one of those things where like yeah, it's all right. You know what I mean? Um, I got this in a boxy charm as well, I believe. Um, uh, it says if you have dry, coarse, or frizzy hair and you want smooth, soft, hydrated hair. You'll use this product, and it's uh, made with coconut oil. It's a leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh your hair down. I do agree with that. I just don't find it to be, like, as hydrating as I need it. It's just okay. But I'm not enough for it to stay in and take up room in my drawer. I'm going to declutter this. This is by the brand SGX NYC Salon Graphics. It is the Dry Touch Volumizing Dry Shampoo. I actually like this. And, if I remember... Mmm, it smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. It's got fresh jasmine and fig leaf. It's great. It absorbs oil and adds body. I do agree with that. I usually use this on my second day here, which kind of, oh, it just, oh, it's bomb. It's bomb. So, will it fit? Yay! Sweet. So, uh, there's that. Now I have a free drawer of which now I can put um, all of my backups and things in. So I'm going to go ahead and actually wipe this out now. And I will be back in just a minute. Alrighty, so this is all wiped out. And I'm going to go ahead and put all my backup things into this drawer. And finally free up space. And use the actual drawer system for something else. Just going to go ahead and put all these things in here. That's also I can actually see what I've got going on now in this drawer. Because I couldn't really with the other stuff. Why is this difficult? <laughs> okay. like way too much stuff but then it's like well I do love makeup I do appreciate it I am passionate about it so if you're, if you're passionate about it do what you love go for it don't let anybody tell you otherwise because at the end of the day it's whatever makes you happy it's your life if you're into it just go for it I don't think anybody should judge you on how much makeup you have and if they do, well, then good for them. They're <laughs> just those kind of people. But, uh, so, yeah. So, sorry, that was a little bit of a rant there. But, yeah, so there's that. Put the little stickers back here. Those. And put my little beauty supplements right there. So, now we have freed up our drawer, which can go back in the drawer system. Um, and, yeah. So, thanks so much for watching. This now is my backup drawer. Everything looks way more organized, and this isn't as organized, but um, you get the idea. Everything's all in one drawer, which is what the goal and the plan was. So, um, yeah. And so now everything on this side is completely organized and pared down. I think it's pretty good for the move. It's about to happen in a couple months. Um, just with military, we have to prep ahead of time. I think how organized. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you hopefully very soon in my next video, which I don't know what it's going to be yet, but, uh, it's coming soon. <laughs> All right. Bye.